my render time at a thousand samples came in at 20 seconds. And then if I click down here with this technique that I'm going to be showing you, you can see that it is 13 and a half seconds. And for those curious, my rig is the GeForce 4090 RTX video card, and then I'm running one of the new AMD processors. So I'll link to information on those below. So as you know, or should know, over here under the format section here, you can set your resolution. And then while doing previews, you can actually toggle the slider and you will render that percentage of it leading to increased render times. And then you can crank it up to 100% for your final production. But a technique one of my video editing friends introduced me to is that while working with 4K footage or 2K footage, they would oftentimes use that to kind of scale up in comps. And they found that as long as it was around 20 to 25 percent, people couldn't really see the difference on the final product. And that got me thinking, I wonder if I could do that in 3D to save render times. I would also like to call out that my crafty asset pack is on sale as part of for the love blender sale at 25 percent off. So I'll link to that in the description below if you're interested. So what you're going to do is you're going to want to take the scene that you have and up here you will see that you have scene. So let's go ahead and call this scene underscore 75 percent. Great. Now what I'm going to do is create a duplicate of the scene. So we're going to go ahead and create this duplicate here and we're going to do new scene and we're going to do linked copy. And that's going to give you this dot zero zero one name. So we're just going to go ahead and change this to scene 100 percent. Awesome. Now, because we've made this a linked copy, as long as Blender is behaving as it should, it should adjust all the settings that you have in your scene and keep those equal across both scenes so that you can go ahead and edit and move your geometry around and it should update across both scenes. However, your scene settings and formats can be different. So we're going to leave scene 100% at these settings that we have right here. Then what you're going to want to do is go back to scene 75% and you're going to go ahead and set this resolution format to 75%. Perfect. Now what we're going to do is while in scene 40, 75, we're going to go ahead and do our render. So I'm going to go ahead and hit render. And great, we have our scene render here. So then now what we can do is we can head back over into the scene 100%. And then we're going to go to the compositing tab. And I'm just gonna go ahead and switch to the compositing view here for you so that you can get a kind of better view here. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to grab this render layers and we're going to change this to scene 75%. Now what this is going to do is show us our render which is rendered at 75% of the resolution. So I'm gonna go ahead and unhook these two right here. Then I'm gonna drag this back in here and hit Control K there to drag that. And now we'll have a little bit easier of a setup here. Now what you want to do is you want to go ahead and add a scale node. We'll drag that onto here. Um, by default, this is set to relative one on one. And you want to check this right here and drop this down to render size. What that's going to do is scale your image up to the render size. So in this case, it's going to take our 75% image and scale it up to 100% as we have set over there. Perfect. So now this has gone ahead and filled the entire scene. Now what we can do is we can search and add a filter. And it's set to soften by default. And we're going to go ahead and set this to box sharpen or diamond sharpen. You can experiment with both and see what works best for your scene. By default, you see it's going to give you this incredibly over sharpened image. So you're going to want to lower this way down until it's not super noticeable. And I found that 0.1 to 0.125 was kind of the sweet spot, but 0.1 was nearly undetectable. Now, when you go ahead and export this from scene 100%, you will have a image scaled up from 75% using the sharpen method to kind of tighten up that detail a bit. And then you can export there. And as you saw, it cut me down from 20 seconds to 13 and a half seconds. Now, of course, this isn't a lossless technique. However, when uploading to social media, they compress those images and oftentimes it will compress it kind of beyond recognition between the two formats. So now that we've covered this free technique, let's go ahead and dive over to the add-on that I mentioned at the beginning of this video. In the meantime, thank you for watching this video. And also just a reminder that my Crafty Asset Pack is on sale. I always appreciate you watching. Thanks again.